Happy Thursday, everybody. Thank you so much for downloading or streaming the Be Our Guest podcast. Today, we have the replay from Sunday night's live call-in show that was recorded on March 3rd, 2024. Of course, Scotty G was joining me here on the show, and we took your calls for the next hour, and we had a lot of discussions. Of course, the 2025 package release was discussed. We get free water parks on our check-in day next year. That's pretty cool. We also talked about our favorite background loops all around Walt Disney World. Ella calls in from down in Arkansas, and I guessed her exact favorite background loop. I'm psychic. How about that? We also had some great discussions about the resort to pick for a family, an extended family who's coming in from Louisiana, but they're bringing a two-year-old. They want to make sure that two-year-old has a great time on her vacation Should they go with a very Disney-themed resort or go over to Old Key West where the family can spend some time together? It was a great conversation. We also talked about APs, to renew or not to renew. Lots of other discussions on today's show, so hope you enjoy today's fun Disney talk. Of course, our show brought to you by the Magic for Less Travel. We'd love to help you plan that next Disney adventure for no additional cost to you. Check them out today over at themagicforless.com. Please also use our Amazon affiliate link when you shop online. That one extra click supports everything we do throughout the year. It's BeOurGuestPodcast.com slash Amazon. And thank you so very much to our Patreon supporters. You are Club BOGP, and we appreciate you so very much. You can support us as well, starting at just $5 per month, and you'll get a bonus show. It's called Mike in the Midwest. comes out every Tuesday. So if you'd like to get in on that, come on over and join us. Patreon.com. Slash be our guest podcast. Ready to take a trip to the world? You found the Be Our Guest Walt Disney World Trip Planning Podcast. This is where your memories come front and center on our podcast stage. Well, hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to the BOGP Open Line for Sunday night, March 3rd, 2024. I'm your host, Mike Rallman from Be Our Guest Podcast.com and one of the senior agents. Over at the Magic for Less Travel. Yes, we're jazzing it up tonight. We're going to be taking your calls for the next hour at 407-413-9395. Again, 407-413-9395. That's right. We have a house band now rocking here in the studios. And joining me tonight, your friend of mine up in Michigan, fresh off the links early this year, spring training man himself. It is Scotty G. What's up, Scott? How was golfing today? Happy Sunday, Mike. Golf was good. Um, broke 100, which is always the ultimate goal. So I was looking at the last four years. My handicap kind of keeps going up and down. Kind of ashamed to say what the score is for my handicap, so I'm not going to say it. But uh, it dropped two and a half strokes last year. So the goal this year is to drop another two and a half. And today started in the right direction. But about that house band like on the shows where i'm not on where it's you like ricky and pam and i just volunteered to be the drummer at least for the house band because like i would would love to get the sticks out again and start jamming i'd love you to recruit some friends and just have a whole drum line you know what i'm saying like there's dude i can i can make that happen there's nothing better than a drum (laughs) the bogp drum line how how sweet would that be dude you gotta dress up like the green army men too i mean come on now like that drum lines are the the, uh, nothing gets you pumped like a drum line dude Dude, i'm gonna start recruiting some people right now we're gonna make it happen who, who had those commercials back in the day? I think it was like, um, were like, like a band, like went around and it was like, they would follow them around their, th- during their daily routine. Like Mike, 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 Mike. They're doing eye of the tiger as <laughs> yeah. they went around all day long. Like, Oh my God, that'd be perfect. No, I yeah. So the house band and, and you could be a drum line and we could, we could make everybody, that could be like a Patreon uh, uh, tier or something. I don't know. We could do something, yeah. but a That's, gospel choir. Yeah. Jed, Jed says, yes. I mean, you got to run a marathon. Well, you don't have to run a full marathon anymore. They're at the end of the 5, 10, the half the full. They're there for everybody. Equal opportunity gospel choirs. Anyway, tonight we're going to be taking your calls, 407-413-9395, over on our Discord. By the way, i got to talk about our Discord at the top of the show today. Now, Discord, a lot of people hear that, and they're like, that sounds kind of weird, and I felt the exact same way. I'm like, old dude, get off my lawn. What's up with Discord? I'm better with message boards. We used to have the message boards a decade ago, the V bulletin things that were kind of pre Twitter, pre Facebook, all that stuff. That's kind of how our community really got rolling back in the day. And then social media hit and everybody kind of moved over to Twitter and Facebook and those things fell apart. I've really wanted in 2024 to really build that community back, have people communicating together, meeting each other, passing pictures back and forth in a smaller community of our listeners on a daily basis where people are talking 
at all hours of the day, communicating, helping each other exchange, uh, you know, ideas for port adventures on cruises. We have a sub forum for the cruises. We're talking ADRs for upcoming trips. We're, we're just putting up pictures from previous vacations, just sharing memories and talking about our pets. It's not all about Disney over there. We're talking about just life in general. So come on over to our Discord. Really, it sounds, I think the thing that scared me and a lot of people is that they're called servers. Like you join a Discord server. Really what a Discord server is, is just like a chat room or a, a message board. It's a message board that kind of sometimes moves a little quickly because it's real time. But it's just a message board, and I'm trying to make it as organized as possible. It's getting there. So come on over. Give it a shot. Just go to BeOurGuestPodcast.com, and right there, there's a link. Just go down to the main page. It says, join us on Discord. You just put your username, and you're set. And you can also download the app. There's a Discord app. Boom. You're set right there on your, on your phone. You can take it with you wherever you go. That's what I do. My little phone, every time there's a message, it'll go boop or something like that. And I know, hey, somebody's posted something cool, so I'm going to go check out and see what it is. But it's a lot of fun. We're having a good time over there this week. But on the Discord tonight, we had some suggestions for uh, topics to throw out there. Craig down in Louisville said uh, that we could talk about w- what's your favorite background music at, around Walt Disney World, your favorite area for background music. So if you want to share that tonight, that's one of the topics that we have. Trisha said she wants to talk about March Madness bracket. So we might get into that throughout the month of March, but we're not probably going to do that tonight because I need to give out a little more thought of like what topics. And then uh, June Mouse Mom was talking about room requests. Do you typically do a room request? You know, if you're at a certain hotel, what are some kind of sneaky room requests you might throw in there? She mentioned that she ended up getting a 60s room request, a 60s room at Pop Century, even though she booked into a standard because she got the back facing hourglass lake sky uh, close to the skyliner room because that isn't it's not a preferred room because it's backside not a preferred location so, but she was super happy with it because she was on the backside of the 60s but she loved it because skyliner access looking at hourglass lake i mean bam that's what she wanted so we could talk about those things a couple other things but again the phone number for tonight we'd love to talk to you over the next hour is 407-413 nine three nine five so give us a yell so scott 2025 packages come out this week i had no idea they were coming until about 24 hours ahead of time kind of rocked my world in a good way i was excited to help folks but uh what's been going on in your world disney news wise um no disney new uh, news right i like seeing those um the you're seeing a lot more boats going down tiana's uh bayou which yes. uh really excites me uh on the before the show started, me and Mike were talking about annual passes and such. And I'm like, man, like now I kind of want to make a summer trip though, because you know how much I love Princess and the Frog. I love Splash Mountain. Um, so that seems like it's going to be coming quicker than we might think. Cause I think Josh tomorrow might've been seeing like recording like a promo video of some sort. So normally when that happens, like I feel like a date follows that. Right. And if you're booking these summer 2020, well, I guess this would be summer 2024. So the 25 packages really shouldn't matter for that. But I feel like it's coming soon, Mike. I don't know what you think. Yeah, I totally think it is because he was out there shooting that promo. So it's got, I, man, I'm thinking it, 4th of July ish because it's like a, it's, a, it's like an American tale, right? And I mean, I 4th of July. I, I think someone asked us on a live show a few weeks ago and I went like, because I said, well, summer can stretch out to like mid September by technically when you look at the calendar. So I was thinking September. But, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know now. They're hot on it, man. They're they're moving faster than they normally do. Like, they're getting a little universal in their Disney uh, lately, which uh, I I like to see competition again. But we have our first call tonight, so let's see who we got. I appreciate you calling in. So it's Mike and Scott on this end. Who's calling us in on that end? Ella from Arkansas. Sorry, you're down in Arkansas. Who is it? Ella. 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 Oh, hey, what's up, Ella? Tell your dad we said hello, by the way. (laughs) Always. What's so, going on? Um, I was going to comment on y'all's discussion about AP renewal. Um, you know, me and my dad renewed about two weeks ago okay. for both of us. And as of right now, we don't have any upcoming trips planned. But one of our big reasons we renew that y'all didn't touch on is fear of not being able to buy them again if we plan something and don't renew. So okay, let, let's hang on one second, Ella, because for the folks that are listening here on Thursday on the feed, before we started recording, we were having a little pre-show discussion 
and that was one of our concerns that we were talking about. We said, you know, we don't have, because I'm going on a cruise this summer, but we don't have the time. My family doesn't have the time to go to Walt Disney World just because Mallory has cheerleading. She can only be gone for so long. So we don't have time to do a land and cruise because we're doing a seven night cruise. So we got to come home like we got to go from the ship straight to the airport. That's good. I've never done that. I'm already dreading it. And I'm like four months <laughs> away from the cruise. I'm already sad. No. Like, oh, it's terrible. I know. Pam even said it. Pam's like, that's going to be horrible, isn't it? I'm like, yes. Yep. Um, yeah. The one cruise oh, dude. we did, we did a, uh, uh, like two nights over at, um, universal after our cruise. I would take a motel six on Cocoa beach, you know, after the cruise, if I had to, I mean, come on now, like mm-hmm. this is going to be brutal, but I mean, what are you going to do? It's that or not go. So we're going to do that, but it's like, you know, I'm, I, but the thing is like, I could, because like Pam has some things come up every once in a while. I get to go down for like two days for the, for the agency, you know, there's, there's things that pop up for me. So my girls haven't had annual passes for a few years. So it's just me renewing. So it's not like multiples where Scott has it. But again, Mm -hmm. mine expires in April. Ah, That was a concern that we had, though, that we didn't talk about here that while we were recording on the show since we've gone live is that what if and we don't think that would happen again. You know, that was a very special circumstance. But there was that period where you could not you could not renew your annual pass again. And we're scared to death that would happen. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, last year I went um, three times and um. Only one of those was really planned far in advance. Um, the two others were planned about two months before we went, which is pretty quick for us to have a trip planned. Um, and that was my sort of family trip with my aunt and then our Star Cruiser trip. Yep. Um, those we did not plan super far in advance. And if I didn't have an annual pass, we probably wouldn't have been able to go on those. And as of right now, we don't have anything planned, but I would love to go down for my birthday this summer. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, Scott, chime in on this. I think the thing, too, with an annual pass is that it presents opportunity for what Ella just said. Like, oh, well, it's my birthday. I'm going to go for a weekend, you know, and then I just got to worry about the hotel and food flights, you know. What do you think, Scott? Yeah. I mean, that's, I was say, that's the beauty of the annual pass is like the flexibility. And Mike, and you know, I'm very well known for like, hey, tomorrow, let's go to Walt Disney World. <laughs> like, you've done that many times. And it's very mm-hmm. easy to do with the annual pass. Like I'm, ta- I'm thinking about the cruise thing you're talking about, too, Mike. Like there's one Memorial Day weekend. I think it was in 2022. We went down for a cruise and Guardians had just opened. So we were flying the day we like got off the ship, but we still hopped in the Epcot real quick and did Guardians and left because we had the annual pass. Like it's. Or like, yeah, doing things like that. Like if you're even staying on like a 10 night trip, like you're like, oh, let's like, let's not have a part day, but you can still hop in for like dinner at Epcot mm-hmm. and leave and because you have an annual pass. But mm-hmm. if you have a magic your way ticket, you're not going to feel like, oh, I just don't want to go into Epcot just to eat. You know, like it feels weird when you do that. So like there's some great pros of having an annual pass. And it's just, you kind of just have to look at the calendar a little bit and try to like work it out. Like, do you, do I have two trips in the next 12 months or whatnot? And then. Yeah, then you might make three or four different ones, right? <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and, and, and Ella, too, with, with the annual pass, like, I'm, I'm so chill with my days in the parks where if I'm ever on a Magic Your Way ticket, I, I don't even want to take a break. Like, I feel like I have to get maximum value mm-hmm. out of every minute in the park. I don't want to take a midday break. You know, that's it's kind of how I am mm-hmm. at Disneyland because at Disneyland, I'm, I'm on a ticket. You know, like, I'm on a ticket where I buy it per day. And so I want to get my value out of that five day park hopper with Genie Plus. Like I'm going to use that Genie Plus. I'm going to park hop, and I'm going to get all my hours out of every one of those five days. It's just that's just how I am. And Jared has a great question about the annual yeah. passes. So like if you don't renew, because sometimes there's benefit to reviewing renewing. There might be like a like a hundred bucks off or something. There might be like a little discount if you renew. But if you, if you let it lapse and want to buy. And Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, yes, like you can buy the annual pass and then it doesn't actually go into effect until the the first time you use it. It's different if you renew, renew, it just continues on that cycle. But if you let it go and then you buy a new one, then it doesn't activate till you enter a park the first time. Yeah, Yeah. but you can't, you can't renew and then hold off because when you renew, it just goes back to your, the day it expires, like it just continues on for another 365 days. Yep. Mm Mm-hmm. 
So, Ella, yeah, did, I, did, I, did you guys don't have trips planned, though? That's surprising because you guys tend to go to all of the um, or not. I shouldn't say all, but you guys tend to go to a lot of the kind of Disney fan events, which that's where having the annual pass is kind of a sweet mm-hmm. spot for like a lot of the communities, which I think is I get a huge mm-hmm. kick out of that. Yeah, there was an event that I that bo- both of us wanted to go to that it was a really small thing and it sold out and waitlist closed before we even had a chance. Wow. And so things like that. It was a Halcyon fan event that we were trying to go to. Man, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's 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 a fan. And then I there. can also comment on the uh, background music question. I, I I can tell you what your answer your answer is gonna be somewhere in Epcot. Right? Um yes. Um <laughs> it is a very specific location. Let me guess. Let me you guess. Let me, let me guess. try to guess. I, I know. To my, guess. I know what it I, is. I'm gonna try to guess because I I, I kind of know Ella and her dad. I'm just gonna. But I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. Is it the imagination area bathrooms? That's what I was gonna say. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> To be our guest mm-hmm. podcast, we yeah. know our listeners. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. Woo-woo. Because that is some of the best background yeah, music ever made. There are many times whenever I have waited for it to clear out and I have started <laughs> recording audio on my phone in there. Scott, send her the loop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I got that loop and I do the same thing though. Like I gotta, I gotta recreate these playlists, um, any opportunity I can. So I try to find a quiet area a lot of times and reconstruct the the playlist. So I'm proud of you, Ella. That's oh, yeah. that, that makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Me too. That's yeah, awesome. We do have quite the audio collection, but we sure. probably have it somewhere. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Well, Ella, <laughs> hey, thanks for making my night and tell your dad we said hello. It's good to talk to you. Y'all too. All right. You guys take care see down you. there. We'll see you soon. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that's what she was going to say. I knew it. Dude, that bathroom though has gotten so popular, like especially on Run Disney races. I feel like everyone just knows that that bathroom is there oh, yeah. um, when you do a Run Disney race. When you come into Epcot, everyone just shoots out that way. I think I can't tell if the next call is on the line or not. I think I hit it, and I think they hung up at the exact same time. But two two five area code, are you there? Maybe. No. Two two five area code, give us a call back, and we'll get you right in. You got the express line. No, that is that is true though, man. There's a. Uh, there is a lot of discussion though with annual passes and it, it, it's again, this is the, so we had a birthday party today here on Sunday as we're recording the show for my wife, her birthdays this week. And so we had the family, her family was over. So, we, you know, we did the cake and the presents and everything for her and her sister. You know, we do like a bunch of people at the same time. And so the conversation always gets to Disney because her, her sisters, a couple of her sisters and her mom are going on the Disney wish two days before we're going on the fantasy. <laughs> And we're going on a different ship. That's <laughs> not, funny. not intentionally. Yeah, I feel like someone planned it that way. <laughs> we just happen to be going on a different cruise two days later to a different part of the Caribbean. Anyway, um, but <laughs> Donna, if you're listening, because I just want to go on the fancy and I just want to go to four night or seven night cruise. We just went on the wish. Anyway, I'm not digging myself out of this one, but it always turns to Disney. And like I was talking to my brother-in-law who works in business, and we just had this conversation about how Disney, Walt Disney World, just these Disney trips, they just got back from taking my nephew, who's, I think he's in first grade, he's young. How everything with a Disney trip, though, is just, it, it's about strategic planning. It's because, it, you know, he's not in like we are, right? He's kind of casual with it all. But it is. It's about crunching numbers. It's about making good decisions, like constantly. You're constantly having to make good decisions. Like it's always about crunching data. You know, even like you said, trying to because, uh, you know, they have a young child, and it was about just trying to get lunch. Right? He can't sit for thirty minutes at a sit down restaurant at this point. So it was just trying to figure out, like, how can I get my kid a hot dog in five minutes? You know, you got to think about these things. Everything is is something you really have to consider. Hey, we'll get that caller back in, but we'll, we'll pick that up here in a second. All right, caller, thanks for calling back. Who do we got? Hello? Hello, who's this? 
Hey, Mike. Hey, Scott. This is Charles from uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Charles, thanks for calling in. What's hey, going Charles, on? How you doing? Good, good. How are y'all doing tonight? Pretty good. How are things down there? Oh, uh, not too bad. We're, uh, you know, just getting some things done around the house. I had a, I had a quick, uh, kind of a opinion question for y'all. All right, let's hear it. <clears throat> um, so I'm looking at, uh, we're looking at sneaking out of Louisiana during Mardi Gras next year with kind of a big family. Um, I'm kind of looking at Old Key West possibly because it's kind of a, uh, like I said, we got grandparents, uh, me, my family, my sister, and her family. Um, and I'm kind of wondering. I know Scott, that's your uh, your home resort and everything. I, is it? I'm wondering if it's quote unquote Disney enough for kids. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Oh, side side point. note: Is this the Charles that messaged me on Instagram? Because that's awesome that you were able to get through. Yeah. This is, all right, awesome. Yeah. I'm glad has, I got through with with the last name down the Louisiana. Because I'm not gonna say your last name, but not because Scott told me like somebody was gonna be sending a, a call tonight, and with the last name, and you're from Louisiana. Absolutely, this is that person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy to figure out. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So I I totally hear yeah. what you're saying, right? Because like. You think about like a pop century or something like that seems very Disney because you got like the characters around and all that. And yeah, I will say like Old Key West doesn't feel the super, super Disney, I right? It, it feels like Florida, kind of like a Florida vacation where you got these gorgeous palm trees, like the, yeah. like the bright, like the cool colors on the villas and all that, like a fun a fun swimming area, which is very kids like fun, right? I mean, it's, it's good for the kids, but mm -hmm. it's, it's not going to pop at Disney like. And sometimes like a character might come in and out, but like, like the food options aren't like, yeah. the, it's not like Mickey's barbecue or anything like that. I mean, it's all like very like Florida tropical. So not super Disney. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which Cause is, we were kind of looking at either uh, maybe all of us just getting our own rooms at art of animation, you know, kind of more for the kids or if we'd rather stay together, staying at old key West, I just, you know, our daughter will be a little under two years old at that time. So I hate to, go stay somewhere where she doesn't even feel like she's at Disney, you know? No, she's going to be under two or, or two? Under two, yeah. She'll be under two years old. I, about a year and a half know old. The that's, that's what I'm saying, because we both yeah. had kids, and I'm just saying, I mean, for the adults, I might just... Because, I mean, like, you could still take her swimming. Like, I, I think yeah. she would still have a good time just being at a pool at that age. You know what I'm saying? And they'll, like do, just, and they'll do, like, yeah. if you go to the main pool, too, Charles, they'll have, like... I mean, now that she's under two, she'll be doing like the Disney trivia activities they have out there. But it it does get kind of dis more Disney fied at like the main pool when they bring like all the kids together okay. and do stuff. But yeah, like, I'd say, uh, yeah. Yeah. what I would say, like not the interrupt, but I'd say like if she was six, I'd say lean more towards going to like a like an art of animation or like yeah. a pop century. But at two, I would say Oki West and have the have the adults have a good time. Because and, a yeah. pool's a pool's a pool at that age. I still and, think. and Charles, let me tell you something. So I've my in laws have come twice on Walt Disney World trips. The first time was at Old Key West. Now we kind of did it up. We did a two bedroom villa. I've done a two bedroom villa with Mike, so he kind of knows like how nice that is. It's awesome. And, and every mm -hmm. time we tell them that we're going to Disney, you know, and they're all they know we go quite a bit, and they always say, "Oh, are you getting the? Are you getting going to Old Key West again? Like, and if so, like, can yeah. we come? Is there room for us? Like." that just had yeah. a huge impression on them they just that that felt like the most vacation they've ever felt and they were surprised that 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 they felt that way at walt disney world you know the kids place or whatever yeah so my in-laws yeah. talk about that trip all the time so that's why i like the bigger family that you're talking about here because it's such a chill yeah. place like a cool place to hang out and like i don't mm -hmm. think you'll be disappointed at all i really don't okay and me, me and my wife were also curious because we went to uh key west last year actually we were wondering how much of the, the Key West vibe is actually there. You know, I'm not sure if y'all been to Key West or not, but we were looking to kind of compare it a little bit. You know, I know it's not going to be exactly it, but I'm hoping that you can come on the show they, and tell us. Copy. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's, 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 it's to me again, I've never been to Key West, but it's, it's so it's just, and Scott and I talk about this all the time because we're both huge old Key West fans. I mean, he's obviously DVC and owns there. I just happen to be just a guest there all the time. But when you're mm -hmm. sitting, one of the places I love to be at Old Key West is I love to sit at Olivia's on that outside patio as you're having dinner, especially mm -hmm. like right at sunset or later in the evening, and just watch the guests 
because there's a breezeway there just come and go you know like excitedly mm -hmm. head out to a bus to go to a theme park or disney springs or come back from their adventures of the day and yeah inevitably there it's a lot of families right so you hear grandparents talking to grandkids and you know it's just it's it, it, it's such a chill vibe there it's 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 unlike mm -hmm. the values the, the other places the moderates it's just it does feel like people are at like in a little community and i just I, like i just mm -hmm. i soak it up over there i love it so much it's it, it, charles, it's charles, I charles i have a question for you were you all going to be driving or were you going to be running a car at all do you know no we normally just like to uber around and okay. then just whatever uh transportation we, we'll use the buses and everything Okay, so that's one thing that, that people that, that always say about. That is what I was going to ask you as well, is if uh, yeah. how you know with a with a toddler, if we needed to take a break in the middle of the day, how how much of an ordeal is it to get back to the old Key West in the middle of the day? Yeah, awesome. That's a great question because that is one of the more challenging things I would guess people would say about the resort. That's why I asked if you're going to have a car because it is big, mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. depending on where your room is, like you might have a little bit of a walk to a bus stop, or when you return you're going to have to like go mm -hmm. through basically the whole resort, which is fun. Like I personally like, cause I like seeing the resorts, my home resort. So like I'm biased. I love seeing all the parts of the resort. Um, so just know yeah. like sometimes like the bus rides could take a little while and I don't know what time of year you're going, but sometimes it might be, if it's summertime and you know, it might be hot kind of walking to some of those bus stops, but um, yeah, but I still think, I still think it's worth it. I was just going to say, if you were, if you, if you were having a car or even if you were Ubering, like the Uber driver can drop you off, like right in front of your villa, right. which is really nice. Because okay. every yeah yeah that would be yeah. helpful. Because like if you go to like a yeah. like a value or even some of the moderates, like they had to drop you off like kind of like in a parking lot, and then you kind of had to weave your way through mm -hmm. and find your building. But at Oki West, yeah, you're they every like villa kind of has like its own parking spot, so they can just drop you like right off in front of the villa, <laughs> which is so convenient. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Um. So it's super yeah, nice. Pretty convenient. So if you're ordering like an Uber, like it might sometimes it might be easier to meet them at like the like the like the main like lobby area, but, but definitely if you're getting dropped off, cause you're in the car, you can just tell them, Hey, my building is like over here. Can you just drop yeah, me just, off over here? And I would say they'll, yeah. I never seen an Uber okay. driver not to do that. Yep. So. Yeah. Okay. And we're getting some good love okay, in the chat cool. for the, the, for the two-year-olds too, that, that have done kind of the same thing that you're <laughs> right. planning Charles. And, and they said they highly recommend it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. That's good. It's going to push us towards going to OT West. Then. That sounds good. Uh, on a side I note, come. Mike, <laughs> yep. uh, I thought y'all, I thought y'all had us like uh, this past football season. I thought y'all, uh, y'all almost pulled it out against us against LSU. I was there, man. That quarterback, he's something. That kid, Jay, oh my <laughs> God, Jaden Daniels, that guy. I thought we, because yeah. I thought he's coming out of the game, and then he came back like Superman and was like flying all over the place. Yeah. Like, could somebody catch that kid? I was screaming. <laughs> and then I was like, well, if I'd yeah. have known then he was going to win the Heisman Trophy, it'd have been a lot easier. If I could have known in October, yeah. but uh, yeah, it was, it was. Then he stole. Then he stole our guy. So I'm not a big LSU fan, but you know what can I do? Yeah, yeah. We just got your <laughs> what, the defensive coordinator. <laughs> yes, you took him. He's a good guy. Yeah. And actually, one of my former students is a D back. Uh, uh, coach for y'all too so oh really yeah robert steeples yeah. that's pretty cool yeah i was well, i was kind of worried about playing y'all this uh this season y'all y'all had a pretty stout football team yeah we're gonna be nat national uh, champions this time next year so i'm hoping yeah yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah. give it yeah. a run we're gonna give it a run scott scott one day if i'm uh if i'm in orlando at the same time as you i'd love to get around to golf in dude i i'm all for it that'd be awesome you know the cool thing about old Key west too you'll be able to see a lot of the course that that i really oh, like yeah. um some of my favorite holes are right there so you might even have a golf course view room but um one more thing oh, i wanted really? to quick add charles i had a note here i told i asked you when were you going to go you said it right off the bat you're going to go over mardi gras so you might yeah. want to get away from all the excitement in new orleans but like you're right there on the sasagula so stopping by the french quarter could be kind of a cool thing to do too because they do a, they do a pretty fun things over there so yes yes yeah we do like going over there whenever we uh whenever we're at, we're at Disney, just to kind of, you know, it, it, when you're from Louisiana, you like to compare everyone's Louisiana food to, to what you have back home. And they, they do it pretty good over there. Well, that's good to hear. Let's say something. Yeah. I love it. I'll, All right, guys. Uh, hey, don't be a stranger, I'll, man. Uh, it's good to talk. Yes. That was a, just a great question though. I mean, because that's going to help a lot of folks. There's no right or wrong answer, but I mean, you really nailed yeah. it with the like two, because I think the definite, I, I think the answer changes at four or five. I totally do, but I think yeah. at two, it's Old Key West. At five, I think you do go to an art of animation. So I think, you know, seize yeah. the day. Go now. 
Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. You have a good night. I All right. You take it. care. We'll talk to you soon. Take care, Charles. Right. Thanks for the call. All right. Thank you. All right, we had a question here. I want to jump up here, though, to this question that uh, we had another call coming in. I'll get it real quick. Catherine Coppersmith said, hey, guys, can't call in tonight, but I have a question for you. Fried Chicken Showdown, because this is a good one for us. Would you rather go to homecoming or hoop de doo I'm planning ahead, so we would be going with a five-year-old and a two-year-old. hoop de doo or? Fun question. Homecoming. Do you have an answer, Mike? God, with a five-year-old and a two-year-old? Man, the two, so is the two-year-old still free? I guess at home co- or at a hoop do you? I guess I'm trying to think. It should. I be. guess. I, I guess guessing. so. Maybe. Yeah. I would. I would assume so. I'd probably do hoop de do. Okay. Because I'm just trying to think. If, I, if, I, if, I it's just fri- if it's just for the fried chicken, if it's a fried chicken showdown per se, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to decide. I might go with homecoming. <laughs> but I mean, like, I'm trying to. Well, what I was thinking though was like. Five and two year olds at dinner. Like, are they? Because I haven't had that kids that young in a, in a long time at dinner. Like, yeah. hoop de do at least would entertain them, right? I mean, would it? I, I'm, I'm kind of skipping the fried chicken. The fried chicken's awesome at both. Um, it's a little fancier at hoop de do, obviously. Yeah. The hoop de do chicken's more like just regular, like good old, like you know, kind of just plain old. Regular. You think it's fried better chicken. at homecoming, and it's just like I think it's at- fancier at homecoming. Yeah. I I, I kind of like them both. They're just different. I think they're kind of different. I think homecoming I'm gonna call it fancier plain. per se. I just, I just, I think the, I think the homecoming chicken is better, but hoop to do has more like the wild, crazy entertainment. And to your point with the five and two year old, like everyone's loud in there. So if there's like a That's screaming a good, kid, yeah. like no one's even gonna notice because everyone's hooting and hollering. That's in true. There. Homecoming's not like real quiet either, though. Too. I mean, you could probably. Get I have both. Over there. I have both. I have reservations for both over my spring break trip coming up. Actually. So I'm trying to think. I would go. So if I had to give an answer, I'd say hoop to do. What would you say? I'm going. I'm going the other way. I'm okay. going homecoming. <laughs> we didn't, didn't help. Didn't really. Okay, we have a question over on Instagram, so we gotta split that one down the middle. Sorry William is though going strong on the on the hoop de do. So so okay. there we go. So there we go. We're leaning with William, and we can't talk uh, Beaver football. He said because they're in a <laughs> dire situation in the uh, the pack two. Uh, oh, he says bad. since you're talking about the resorts, wonder if you had to pick a resort to stay at for just one night. Which would you go with? I'm about to probably book. Uh, my DVC stay, but might come in a day early. Well, kind of depends. So you're just looking for w- just one night. Are you looking? So give us more information, RC Kennedy. That's a big open question. You're looking moderate deluxe or value? One night. Follow up. Two that come. Two to come to mind for one night. A one nighter. What are you gonna do? What's well, good? What you got? So it depends on if I want to watch like fireworks from my resort or not. Um. I'm leaning more towards pool time, so I'm going to Yachter Beach Club, and I'm just going to hang out in Stormalon Bay, have some beaches and cream, maybe have a nice meal at Yachtsman Steakhouse, or maybe even go over to Flying Fish on the boardwalk because it's a short walk away, but definitely staying at Yacht and Beach Club. Probably Yacht Club because I prefer Yacht over Beach. I do too. I don't know why I prefer Yacht over Beach. Maybe because I, I, I tend to maybe get a discount more at Yacht, and maybe I, it's darker. Why? Yacht why is just nicer like to me. <laughs> It just is. Yeah. Well, for a point there, Yacht Club had been updated more recently than Beach, yeah. but I think Beach has been updated now. I don't know. I think uh, Beach I is just, um, it's just louder. I was like, I don't know. There's like more like chaos. I don't. That's I what don't, my wife says. My wife <laughs> yeah. a long time ago said, do fan, our family's not allowed to stay in Yacht Club. She says the exact same thing. She 10 mm-hmm. years ago or 20 years ago. She said that probably. And I just like that. I just like that area of the resort better. Um, it feels like you're more like tucked away. Like, I don't know, like you booked me in a room once that was like right at the far end, kind of like where the dog area is. And it was, even though it was like the pet area, like it just seemed quieter. Like, I don't know. Like, and I just like the, the color of the wood, you know, when you're walking around, like, I don't know. I just, I just find, I just find Yacht Club more appealing, even though like you said, everything's like the same. Like I can use everything at Beach Club, you know, like the pool shared and all that, but I just find Yacht Club more entertaining. Everybody's but, saying that too. Like in the chat, yeah. like Thomas is saying that Deanna's, is this intentional? Are these not supposed to be equivalent as resorts? Like I, I thought it was just me, but it's you. And I think a lot of us might book yacht too. Maybe it's because more of us have stayed at yacht because I always feel like something? yacht has more of a discount or like a better price point than beach. I, I think maybe I'm Disney, making that up in my head. But. I don't. I think we're onto something here. Okay, think about this. Because has Disney not like since twenty years ago like promoted beach way more than yacht? Like, like in their say like in the videos. I mean, I'm talking yeah. back in the videos days, like VHS tape days. In yeah. the DVD days, did they not used to 
pump like beach club all the time and just like and i think deanna deanna is hidden something about it too i think it's because you have a dbc portion of the resort at beach club so like you see that in a lot of advertising because hey come stay in the villas and whatever and yacht doesn't have the villas so i think that might be why they push beach more like in some of those promos that's a good point but man if they if they added a dbc ring to yacht like man i'd want to own her <laughs> like it was like I would love to own at beach, but like, I just can't, you know, you, I mean, you just can't, it's not for sale. And like, you really can't ever book beach unless if you own there very rarely can you get it at seven months. So I, I, the problem though, if they, if they knocked out a wing though, then we're like losing like, like chances for all of us to stay there without the DVC too, which is kind of a bummer. You know? Well, and Yacht Club's got all the convention stuff too. They got a convention right. hall. They do. So they use that. Let's see. Ryan followed yeah. up. Uh, doo -doo. Love my Yacht Club though. So Ryan followed up with just curious what resort gives you the best options for one night in your opinion, no cost limitation. So if you're not looking cost, yeah, I think you got a good option. Yacht beach. Um, maybe but if you want to see like fireworks though, like, you know, I think staying on somewhere on the monorail is really nice too, because then you can, you know, you see happily ever after from like a theme park view room at the contemporary or something, you know, which would be pretty nice. Yeah. But. Well, for example, like we were talking about how my phone was doing the slideshow thing earlier tonight. And I saw a picture of us where we were sitting all of our families outside Gasparilla's at the Grand Floridian looking at the fireworks. And it yeah. was just a great picture. Like we were just I mean, we we're just chilling with Mickey bars watching fireworks. So, yeah, maybe do it one night at the Grand. Because the Grand is cool and they just redid those rooms. I will tell you, like, it doesn't matter what the resort is like. It's just fun. It's just fun when you can just spend, I'm a resort guy, you know that Mike. So like, this is, of course I'm going to feel this way, but just to spend a full day at the resort is just so cool. Like even like a resort, like Saratoga, where you can go to like four different pools. You can go to like the turf club lounge and hang out and snack around. Like, I mean, there's just awesome things to do at any resort out there, you know, and it would just be fun. I would love to just like do a whole week long trip where I just like change the resort every night. If, if someone, if like someone could come in and pack my stuff and move it for me, that'd make it so much better because that's actually the worst part of that. But mm -hmm. just to stay at a different resort every night and just use like all the, what the resort has to offer would be awesome. That'd be like a cool blog post too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that'd be a, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Mike. Somebody has to have done that. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure going to renew my blogger. annual pass. I'm going to do a seven night trip, seven different resorts. I'm sure, but I bet you some bloggers done that for every resort, like consecutively. There has oh, to be sure. like probably, yeah, yeah, how many resorts, like 23, 24, something yeah. like that. And they've, they've done it one consecutive. Uh, it's got to be out there somewhere. All right. 407. 413 9395. We've been uh, yakking. We got I a lot a, of, I have, I have a favorite background loop. Okay. Or, yes. I, I, I bet yours is in Epcot too. Well, no, yours is probably, no, you, I take that back. I'm being like uh, the guy from Johnny Carson with the Carmack oh, with yeah. the hat. Yours is from a resort. It could be. I mean, and, and let's be honest, Mike, and I feel think you feel the same way too. These answers can change yeah. depending on your mood. Um, I wrote two down when you said that. Um, one was at a park. One was at a resort. Um, I'm going to go with my park one as my favorite because I think this is when I go to a lot when I go to like if I just want to have something on while I'm working. This is when I think I go to the most. And that is the Tower of Terror background loop. Oh, and that's a good one. It is so good. It's oh. like, and it's funny because you can get all those songs, right? Like, um, like Vera Lynn, uh, Deep Purple and all, like, you can find all these songs. They're so morbid. And, and you can try to create it yourself, but it's not the same because they just, the background loop uses like these cool effects. Like the songs like aren't like originally like how they would normally sound like when they were released. So it is, it is well like put together in this unique fashion, I just think makes it just stand out more than any background loop. And I could just listen to that kind of music all day. So the tower of terror background loop is my favorite. That's it. That is one of my favorites too. And I never, until I heard a podcast where they talked about it, I never realized like all the songs are like super like about death. Like, they're, they're, <laughs> like, you know, they are like in a weird way, like see you on the other side, you know, and stuff like that. When like, we'll meet dude. again. Barely. Yes. We'll oh meet again. God, like I, I didn't so think about that. I'm like, but like, this that version wild. of Tower, I want that version of Tower of Terror because it, the way it's like edited, it's so different than the original oh, release. It's so it's, good. It's such a good mix. Okay, we have our next call, and it's from the 314 area code, which I know this area code. So, hey, who's joining us? Hey, Mike. Hey, Scotty G. This is Jared. Southern I know Illinois, that voice. Not Chicago. <laughs> What's up, Jared? What's going on, guys? All Come. right. New, um, background loop. So, um, Tower of Terror, Scotty, that's a great one. So, when Camden who's 18 now, uh, was car seat age. 
we would uh, be out driving around and he'd be whining and crying and carrying on and we would turn that thing on in the car and he would instantly be lights out. What does that That's say? <laughs> <laughs> it's soothing. It was very soothing. It is soothing. Uh, and yeah, he sure. got he got wise to it too eventually because we would turn it on and he would, you know, he'd be in the back and he's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing you know, he couldn't fight it. He was knocked out. He was wiped out. Holy cow, though! That to think that Cam is eighteen now. That's I mean, that's I know, that's I know. He's gonna graduate this year. It's crazy. I just met the guy, and he's eighteen already. Like I just heard about him. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I do have some input here for um, background loops as well. Um, no big surprise, probably, but I have two, and they're both from. Uh, the studios as well. One of them is from the best ride in all of Disney's Hollywood studios, and that's Baseline Tap House. <laughs> that's, that's their background right. music, their background loop is is it's to quote Mike, it's my jam. It is. It's uh, awesome. So, do they have a set background loop, or do, there's changes more frequently than others? Correct, because it, isn't it like weird mm, covers of current songs? It, no, it's not. It's it is a set. Uh, it's a set list, and actually, I have one compiled on Apple Music. <laughs> <laughs> That's the baseline tap house uh, background loop, uh, but it is—it's like jazzy, uh, bossa nova versions of pop songs. Yeah, it's so it's, good. It's yeah. it's so soothe. It's so it's just so soothing. It, I, it's it's smooth. It's smooth to listen to. I'm not sure if my picked up on the fact that you said it's the best ride. At, at, no, uh, I picked at, up on it. No, I I appreciate that because I mean, you know, we we all have our things, and I know that is absolutely because I mean, seventy two percent of the time that I've seen you and your crew, it's been a baseline tap house, like in 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 you know, waiting for your your uh, time to get buckled in over there. So there you go. You know, that's that, that's no lie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it used to be. The, no lie this used to be the holding pin for your rise of the resistance virtual queue to be held i mean like that was like the adult oh, yeah, like, i mean that was the holding place yeah beverage in hand while you're pressing refresh with the other <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh, uh, we had a good time there the over next, marathon um, weekend mike we stayed inside remember yes. um, we hung out at yes. baseline so getting you there a little bit more often these days i like it i do it's not a bad well i mean during the pandemic you and i learned how to make a reel there uh, my first was, tiktok video TikTok I think, or that whatever we made a real a real tiktok yeah. we yeah it was it was stupid yeah <laughs> i might i might be dropping a little bit of a hot take too but um baseline tap, tap house you can get free refills on sodas there so they have um I don't know what you want to call them, like artisan sodas or specialty sodas there. And um, if you keep your cup and or your receipt, you can go back all day long and get free refills on those. Ooh, probably not anymore that you said it out loud. But <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a it's nice It's a real part. thing. <laughs> Very nice. Not in 25. You get, the, uh, you get to go to the water parks. You won't get to do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Um, What's that other best, favorite background, uh, background loop? loop is on Sunset Boulevard, and that's either the regular background loop or the the holiday background loop Those because yes. you can walk around at uh, Christmas time and hear that song seventy seven Santas about seventy seven times a day. <laughs> it seems point. like every time I'm there over Christmas, that song is on repeat. It feels like, yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. So, Jared, I love that. One of my favorite things to do is to go to like that like that fruit stand on sunset and, you know, get a beer or a snack to go with it and just sit on a bench or sit like in that whole seating area, right. Where they have like those three counter service restaurants and just chat and listen to the background loop and go get another beer. Then go listen to the background loop on repeat. Just a beautiful way to spend an evening. I think I love it. Scotty, have I mentioned that you and I are practically the same person? <laughs> you guys are pretty close. Are you wearing a vineyard vine shirt right now too? Uh, I am wearing a vineyard vine. Yes, sir. I can't wait till they open that up in uh, in Disney Springs. I'm going to rope drop that store. Absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. So, what's your next what's your next trip? So, you're doing a, a cruise, right? That's your next thing. We are next. Yeah, next month we're doing a cruise. We're heading down about three days early to squeeze the last few days out of our annual pass before it sadly expires. Um, it's going to expire while we're out at sea on the Disney Fantasy. Um, and then, so we get back and we will be uh, passless, which is why I was asking earlier is like, I don't feel, I don't see the value in renewing because the discount is like 140 bucks. Yep, and yep. if I'm not going to use it for six months till we go down it for wine and dine, 
Um, I, I just, I, I can't, I can't bring myself to do that. However, we were also in that crowd of people that let our annual passes uh, lapse during COVID. And then we could not get yep. um, annual passes for over two years. And Len Testa, I value this man's opinion. I love him as a person. He gave me some of the worst advice in the world um, about annual passes uh, back at that time because I sent him a message. I'm like, if there's anybody who you know will be able to you know answer this question for me, it's you. And it was, hey, our passes expire. We don't have a trip planned uh, or on the books, right? And the next you know, the next thing that we would possibly do would be January. And this was June um, to go down if they bring the, the, the Disney races back. And if this was 20, this was summer of 2020. So I'm speculating that they were going to bring the races back in 2021 of January. Right. And he's like, you know what, save your money, you know, don't get them. Um, run Disney's not coming back. And um, you know, passes are, you know, they're going to be completely different animals if, if, and when they do bring them back. And um so I let them lapse and um, they, I could not renew. Um, that's what it was. I missed out on the window, right? They had that like five week window where you could get them and I didn't do it. And then I missed out for, for two years. So that's, that's my fear, right? Is, is I let these things lapse. And then for whatever reason, they pull the plug on them again. That's my fear too. That's mine too. And then see, that's the thing is like, they have us all scarred. Right. That's because why there's something I, really I know. Sad about exactly. Because I I'm in the same boat. I don't know. Like, if that wasn't a factor, I may not renew. But you know what? Out of fear, it's almost like it's an it's it's uh, almost like I'm I'm paying yeah. like an insurance policy. That's why I'm almost like so, you know yeah. I'm gonna renew. That, that scar absolutely runs deep. It uh, does. I, I still I could still feel it today. Um, but I was looking, um, before I called in, and I think. I, you should be able to even buy a pass now, even though I am a current pass holder. I should be able to buy one, just a net new pass. You can, and I'll get a voucher. Yep, yep. You just, you so, just don't, you just don't um, link it. The, you just, you just don't link it to your My Disney Experience account. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't link it, right? Because there's two options. The option, first option, right, is obviously buy a pass, and the second one is to um, renew. So if you buy a net new pass, yeah, I guess. You know, it's not like you said; it's not linked to anything. Um, it should be good. You just um, have to eat that cost right now, the, but you're not losing yeah, anything. Exactly. Just, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just gonna say the other side of that token is I got to cough up three grand for two passes right now. <laughs> yeah, and you're about to go on a cruise. Yeah. So, so real quick, Jared, you're going on the fantasy Eastern or Western? Uh, we are doing the Eastern. Same. I'm doing my Eastern for the first time. Like, what what port adventures are you guys yeah. doing? Are you doing any good ones? Uh. Like what, what yeah, are you um, Eastern. So that takes you to Tortola. Yep. It takes you to St. Thomas, yep. which then we're going to take a side trip over to St. John. Um, and then, um, Castaway Key. So that one actually, I think has three sea days, Yeah, I can't which wait. I think is, you know, it's a great mix of, of boat time and, um, shore time. Yep. So what are you guys going to do in either Tortola or, uh, St. Tom or St. John? Yep. Or do you guys, like, so yeah, we, we, I think uh, we're, I think uh, we're in, uh, in zipline. We've, we've got booked, uh, ziplining tour. Yep. We're doing zipline and I think. And, and, cool. And then, um, yeah, for St. Thomas, we're going to take, um, it's a, a, you know, take a boat over to St. John and there is, uh, the beach bar, which is Stacy's mom's like favorite place on earth to go so we have to go kind of pay homage nice. to uh to um to the beach bar and and, and like all the goodness there it looks like baseline but on, on a beach so we're going to baseline a place on a beach. so we're, we're going how to a place like so we're in st thomas we i don't know if we're doing the zip line i think we're gonna do zip, I think we saw a vlog where people did both we're gonna zip line and then there's like a like kind of like a skyliner that goes up the side, like it's like a sky ride or something in St. Thomas. And then there's like a little open air beach bar, not beach bar, but like a little bar, an open air like grill bar and grill. You would know it's like oh, a, it's like yeah. it's like Fast Eddie's. On a, on you would know because you're from yeah. St. Louis. Like you've been to Fast Eddie's, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Fast Eddie's. Like, I've, been, I've been to Fast Eddie's. You've been too, to Fast Eddie's. 
people don't know what I'm talking about except us. But it's like a Fast Eddie's kind of looking place, like on top of a mountain overlooking the ship. I'm like, dude, we're in. Like, we're going to this old Fast Eddie's where you got to take like a Skyliner to the top of the hill. We're going to yeah. do that. No, yeah. I, I have seen that, Mike. That looks pretty cool, too. Yeah, we're going to yeah, go that there. That looks like a good time. I was going to tell you guys something embarrassing, though, going back to the annual passes. So one time, like, I renewed, and I knew we weren't going to go for six months, but I still renewed. And my reason... <laughs> Well, it's because I still wanted to get the Mickey monitor back when they used to value the Mickey monitor. That's so sketch. That? You may not get it anyway. That was the most expensive like Mickey monitor. Yeah, it was. Ever. Page they don't it. even do it anymore, right? I don't think so. You may or may not get it. I think they yeah, still do. I have, well, I haven't gotten a Mickey monitor in like five years, so I don't think they do it anymore. But Yeah. They, well, they yeah. scaled it down to where you got one per household and that, yeah, now I don't, I can't remember the last time I got one. I think it's like per quarter too. It's not like monthly or anything, I think. Yeah, I'll tell you that the best one though is the DVC files. Like the quarterly DVC magazine is like legit, like awesome. So I do love getting those. I'll have to share them with you guys sometime. I've kept every single one I've got, and I got the stack of magazines. It's awesome though. (laughs) That's an even more expensive subscription right there. (laughs) (laughs) It's pretty pricey. (laughs) This dude pays for all kinds of expensive magazine subscriptions. (laughs) We got this guy in. He loves our (laughs) magazine. On the next shareholders call, let's have another magazine subscription for 50 grand. Let's do it. <laughs> oh How do God. we justify these annual dues? I got it. <laughs> we'll send them a magazine. <laughs> it works. Oh, that is so That's a good fun. sales pitch. I get that, that is awesome. Oh, man. Well, hey, Jared, well, thanks for the call, man. Yes, I love man. the I love the baseline loop and that sunset one. Those are two classics for sure. Yeah, they're great. Hey, um, one last one quick thing before uh, before I go. Um, so I know you guys took a little bit of a run Disney hiatus for Princess. Uh, any plans for wine and dine? Negative. It's football season. <sighs> it it looks awesome, but I think I think there's something going on. Like Emily might have a band. I gotta look. I gotta look at the dates again, but because. Didn't they release the themes? Like the themes are really awesome, right? Am I am I wrong on that? Yeah, the five K is Muppets. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the one that stands yeah. out to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, and, yeah, and it's then there's Swedish a Tiana show. and like Ratatouille, which we love. Like, I mean, Ratatouille yeah. is our favorite Pixar film in this household. So, oh yeah, and it looked good. And like Mickey's like on the challenge. Uh, yes, I, I might have to consider it. I know because Swedish to. Chef was there and Mickey. Right. Like those two, I loved. But I, I can't, man. It's football. They, they always have good football oh. games that weekend, so I can't. I, can't. I gotta I'm make a decision right here soon, though, don't I? That's gonna be there. Scott will be there for real. You know, Scott will be there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll be doing the same thing. I'm going to buy my new annual pass and then and activate it when I go down. Yeah, and he'll be, reading his, he'll be reading his Mickey monitor on the plane. <laughs> and then his DVC quarterly or whatever they call it. DVC five. Welcome nice home. Stuff. Welcome home. <laughs> well, yeah, so bring that, is that March 12th? You, so is that can, what uh, I remember? So I can check them out. The sign up. Yeah, March twelfth, I think was the sign up. I think, dude, I, I don't I, know. There's no way I could. Crazier even... things have happened on a cruise ship. I could uh, come home with a DVC contract, eh? No, dude, I try to win the the credit, but I never. Dude, I've almost had. They've almost got me, dude. That stuff almost works. You gotta be careful with that. <laughs> when you go when you go in there and try to get the onboard credit, man, you gotta have a strong will. Well, Just one year, careful. um, the DVC guy on the ship was like the voice of the monorail, so I had Mike yep. like come over and meet him, and like he was this close to getting Mike like with that voice and everything, yeah. like. I was like, but Pam, but Pam, dude, it's the guy, it's the monorail voice guy. We got to say, oh, I love Oki West. <laughs> I love Animal Kingdom Lodge or whatever they're selling. Grand Floridian. I can't remember what they're selling at the time. Like, come on, man. It's Meanwhile, Disney's best yeah. kept secret. Pam saying, Please stand clear of the contract. Yeah, Pam, exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> the contract. That was the best line oh. of the night. Why you, why yeah. you upstaging us? That was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That's awesome. All right, Jared. Well, hey, you take care. Have a good week, and uh, don't be a stranger. You got to call in more. Right on. Take it easy, fellas. Take care, man. All right. We'll see you soon, right, buddy. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. That was awesome. I uh, might make a visit out there, Mike, and then we'll have, I'll have to meet you up, too, because you're, like, close by. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's like, just right across the river. Yeah, if you definitely – yeah, we'll definitely all meet up. Go see him. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Yes. And people are talking about the, the scars from the annual pass, like, lockout. Yeah. Dude, that was horrible. It was like, real. Wade got locked out. Yeah. Aaron says he got his the day they went back on sale. Like, I mean, it was, but I mean, it was such a weird time, right? Because you were committing to something that, that could have had zero value to you. You didn't know. Like, mm-hmm. it was, you know, I mean, there was so much uncertainty with like your job. I mean, a lot of people didn't have 
the finances that they, you know, the, the security in their job and the, the world was such a weird time. Oh my God. That was such a weird time. Uh, oh. It was. It I was. Now I want to think about that. Almost four years ago. We started it. <laughs> yeah. Cause we ran marathon weekend in 2020. We ran, ran princess. princess. In 2020. We ran princess <laughs> and just came home and then the world fell apart. Cause we did Pam's birthday, which is March 7th. And that was just when it was all starting to go down like that yeah, day. I remember my brother's day. birthday. It was March 9th. And then the NCAA, like the big 10 tournament, they're like, Nope, we're not doing this. And man, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Because, because Paige obviously was working for Mizzou basketball and she was in Nashville for the women's tournament. And she's like, we're not playing. I was like, what? She's like, or you know, they're in green, their tournament. Yeah. It was, it was either in Greenville or Nashville. She's like, we're not playing. I'm like, why? Like they're just shutting us down for COVID. I'm like, what? You know, and then you saw the whole the world shut down. It was wild. I'm just glad we're past all that. This, you know, we hey, we didn't even talk about this either. I mean, we got 19. Finally, 1900 Park Fairs back. That's one of your oh, favorite. Yeah. You like that place, yeah. don't you? You think it's better I now with the, with the new characters? What do you think? It looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty cool. You want to say what my favorite uh, resort background looks like? Please do it because we're, we're getting ready to wrap. So yes, we got to get in for the end of the show. You might think it's old Key West, but it's actually not. I listen to that. I listen because you made that loop, and I got on my Apple playlist. Yeah. I listen to that one all the time. It's probably my it's most so listened good. to loop. I, I listen to it all the time, and it's missing <laughs> some stuff because there's a lot of like steel drum music, which is hard to identify like which like steel drum song it is. You know, whatever but, it is, I love it because I did. So I got more to add to it. I got to work on it. <laughs> so I have this whole loop too. It's two hours long, and I have it cut up on my iTunes in like forty minute like segments because it's like too long of a file to have a two hour file. And that's the Animal Kingdom Lodge loop, man. I just love that loop. Something about like just the the creative music, you know. Like there's this guy, some might. Um, he, like yes, would have never yep. would have never yep. listened to his music in my entire life. But now I have like three or four some might albums because I love his music in the Animal Kingdom Lodge loop. It's so great. I have that loop. I have actually a few of those loops that that have the feature yeah. him. That, they've had some yeah. different ones over the years yep. too. Yeah, because mm-hmm. there's one because they're labeled different. You know, they yeah. have different names. But yeah, yeah, I have that is. Well, you know my obsession with this, and like, so I'm on message boards that talk about loops, and like, like when the lodge opened, was it like 98 or 99 or something? Like some someone on this form like went to the front desk and asked, like, "Hey, what are these songs?" And they actually had like a sheet. They used that to, listed yeah. out all the songs. They, they used to do that at like Wilderness Lodge, like a bunch of the resorts. They give you like a playlist. Like, yeah, how awesome! And mm-hmm. like Disboards back in the day used to have a thread where you could just like get them all. And right, yeah, yeah. Because that was back when I was teaching, like my very first year, in like nineteen ninety nine. Because that was because <laughs> I had dial up internet back then, but at school they right. had a T one. Yeah. So that was oh, kind of cool. It's that that loop though, like. <laughs> I listen to it all. That's that's a great like working loop too, because like it like it'll slow down sometimes, and then I'll like pick back up. Like you don't know the words, so I mean you don't know what they're saying most of the time. Like I have some like interpretations that are like, exactly. my own, which is like fabulous. Like like there's this one song where like that's part of the Animal Kingdom loop actually, where I like make my own words. Where like we're gonna go to Animal Kingdom, we're gonna have a fun day. Like it's it's just funny. Like. I just love it, man. Those Animal Kingdom Lodge and Park loops are just so good. And finally, one of mine that I'm going to throw in here is the pre-illuminations loop. There's there's a couple versions of it. There's yep. one from like, they call it the 1999 version. And then there's like yep. a 2004 version. And both of the them, because one version. starts off with like, like some flutes goes doop, 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 doop. And like that one, yeah. like immediately. Yeah, it's like, and, but then there's other ones. So it's, uh, the version of what you always hear is this guy like started, because eh, like it's just where you started oh, the copy. That's, that's the best exactly, version. Right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's where everybody got their copy where it started, but just, it's where the copy But like started. the 2004 one is kind of like rave music. There's that song called like Texas, like, do, 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 Yes. Yes. But it's, it's like, so good. to me though, like on top of, I think the music is pretty good. It takes me back to like remembering those oh, nights, yeah. you know, because I back then too, my life was so much different, right? I didn't have as many responsibilities. Like when I was at Epcot, I wasn't worried about the next day. Like I was just in the moment more. Like now, you know, I'm a dad that's 50 and I got to worry. My job is much more intense and I got to worry about things the next day. And I'm trying to, I got a lot more on my mind. Like back then I was just more in the moment and it just felt like, 
Life was so simple back so then. Good. You were just in the moment, man. And when I hear those loops, God, and those torches would light back. up, and then the background loop would kick oh, in, man. Dude, like the next hour life. was going to be amazing. Oh, you just like and like back then they had the parade. They had tapestry nations yeah. would come out. They come, boom, 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 boom. See, oh. I never saw that. Unfortunately. Oh my god! See, and that that's one of my. There are certain things that make me sad that like I I got to see and you didn't because the thing is, that's one of those things because I know how much you love music and how much you love percussion. We were talking about this before the show that or the beginning of the show that I yeah. want you to be the drum line for me. But I mean, one of the greatest parts, not only the puppets, cause they had these like carnival type type puppets, but man, one of the best parts was they had this big wheel and somebody would be sitting on this float. And I don't know if he was, I think he really was playing the thing and it was just different drums of different size, like bass drums. You just boom, 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 boom. But that's how the parade started. I think I might follow that guy on Twitter actually. Believe well, there's it or a not. Guy? He, mean, like, po- yeah, because they I'll see if I can find the account because they post stuff about like that parade all the time. And I know they like they were a performer, like they played some kind of instrument in it, you know. So oh man, that's see was if I can such... find them. And it was like visual, but it the they had a beat, man. It had like a heartbeat. Oh man, mm-hmm. that parade was epic. So really. good. That's a good way to close the show, though. And All I right. love the Oelas. Like, so you go into Promise, you know, after Illuminations. Yep. Like, Wait, I always call that the Celine Dion song. Yes! I don't think it's really her, but... You're not the only one. I swore that was Celine Dion, and it's yeah. not. I jokingly said that to Elizabeth. I'm like, oh, yep, Celine Dion's coming out. She's like, oh, is that really Celine Dion? Oh. Like, I don't think I so. I told my wife it was Celine Dion for a decade. Yeah. I was like, I, that is Celine Dion. But She's then, like, the Tapestry song, like, the Whalers, like, dude, that, like, that song, like, gives me goosebumps still to this day when Same. I hear it, man. It's dude, so good. Perfect. It's so good. All right, but we got to go. Hey, I like that Riviera Holiday loop. I have that on iTunes. Like a lot of people like follow that loop. Yes, good loop. All right, well, we are going to get out of here. We'll have more shows this week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So join us for that. Real quick, I got to ask Scotty G. I'm going to ask you right here. I'm going to put you on the spot. You going to be with us this week because Ricky just it looks like I text. have to because Ricky texted me in this show that she can't. So I can so. announce it right here if you are. So. Uh, I, I think I'm going to have to. <laughs> there you go. So get your fix with Scott all week. So uh, we'll have listener questions on Wednesday. Friday, we'll have a fun topical show. I think Friday, here's the premise of the show, because we're talking about this. We're going to do a 40-minute podcast about the m- most important 30 minutes of your day on Friday. So that's coming your way. If you listen to the show on Thursday, tomorrow, we're going to we're gonna spend 40 minutes dealing with the most important 30 minutes of your day. Could be the first 30 minutes or the last 30 minutes, but we have a discussion to bring you about that. So that's coming your way on Friday's podcast. So stand by for that. Don't forget, though, throughout the week, we have trip reports Mondays, listener questions on Wednesday, panel discussions on Friday. But we have the conversation going all week long, all day on our Discord. So go to VRGuestPodcast.com, click on the Discord, join us. It's a conversation that goes on all day, all night with our listeners. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks, everybody who is brought that to life over the last couple of weeks we appreciate you having you over there so come on over and join us for that online conversation with our community all right don't forget our show brought to you by the magic for less travel we are booking those 2025 packages to walt disney world and don't forget on your check-in day free visit to the water parks and god please help us that both water parks will be open in 2025 at the same time nobody loves a water park like scotty g i'm just telling you Got those trunks ready for next year? I'm more like I'm more like the pool guy. Like the water parks are still fun though. Like I just sometimes they're too hot during the day, Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I got the fair skin. You know, that's but, uh, true. I do. I do like my water parks. I definitely do. Summit plummets. I I think I'm too old for summit plummets. How much money point. would you raise for give kids to roll to ride summit plummet? I do. I don't think I could do it anymore. I <laughs> I think like there's certain things where you just gotta you know like you just gotta hang up the cleats and I think. I, I've done it a few times back in the day when Paige made me, but she was like eight. So uh, yeah, I think I think my days. I do miss some Crusher Gusher, man. Like, I can do Crusher Gusher. So much fun on that, like one I one of those like DVC parties at at uh, Typhoon, man. So much fun. Yeah. I do, I do. I don't, man, now I got to go to water park, man. Saying. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm so excited about it. We'd love to help you plan a 2025 vacation. Don't wish away 2024. You know, you got the holiday season coming up. You got Halloween, Christmas. All that good stuff. So we want to help you plan a great vacation to swing by the magic for less.com. Please also use our Amazon affiliate link. Thanks to everybody who does that. BRGuestPodcast.com slash Amazon. And thank you to our patrons. We've got a few new patrons this week. We appreciate you so much. Coming over Patreon.com slash BRGuestPodcast, just $5 a month. And you get a bonus show every week. It's called Mike in the Midwest. Of course, we'll have another live show next Sunday night, 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central. So join us for that. If you're catching this on the feed, give us a call and we'll talk Disney with you. 
And give us a follow on the social media. Scott's at Epscott, E-P-S-C-O-T. I'm at Be Our Guest Mike on all the social media outlets. We'd love to talk to you this week. And we'll catch you over on Discord as well. All right, time to jump out of here. And we'll catch you this week with all the shows. We always appreciate you being a part of the Be Our Guest podcast family. Thanks for hanging out with us over the last hour. All right, so for Scott, I'm Mike. Wishing you a great Thursday or a great Sunday night. Have a great week. So until we talk to you again, you guys stay safe. Stay healthy, and we'll see you real soon. You've been listening to the Be Our Guest Walt Disney World Trip Planning Podcast. If you have questions, comments, or would like to be a guest on the show, please visit our website at BeOurGuestPodcast.com. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you real soon.